Hi everyone, welcome back. We're gonna be uh, reviewing another NES game. We're gonna be re this is uh, Gilligan's Island for the NES. This was out in 1989. Uh, the show was from the 60s, as you know, um, and I've seen a few episodes of it. And uh, judging by what I've seen, I think I've actually seen a little bit of the first episode even. But judging by what I've seen, um, it just doesn't make it, it just doesn't match up to what the show is, and it doesn't make the show never made much sense to me, and this. And needless to say, this game really doesn't make much sense to me. Um, but I kind of get the gist of what they're talking about here in the first episode. They want to build um, some sort of shelter to protect themselves from a storm or anything else that might happen to them while they're on the island. At least until they can um, at least fix fix the boat, hopefully, and get off the island. Um, but what I really don't understand is, and what they fail to tell you how to do, is they give you the instruct. They just tell you to build a hut, but you really have no idea what you're supposed to be doing here. Okay, so like I'm going, it's, it's, I think I'm actually the skipper here. You play the skipper. Yeah, the big, the, the blue guy, the guy in the blue. And then you have Gilligan there behind, walking behind you. Now, what I don't understand is none of this, this just, I don't understand this at all because in the, in the story, in the actual episode, they weren't tripping over coconuts and there weren't birds flying at them and attacking them from every which way. I mean, yeah, I can understand them wanting to build a hut, but at least tell us how to do it. They did not tell me anything about this, about how to build a hut. No instructions whatsoever. I mean, you find some of your the people that you washed up with, you find them standing on random parts of the island. And they don't give you any hints either. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just walking around everywhere. I, and really, what this is, is this is like an obstacle course. This isn't... Um, you know, it's not like they you're supposed to walk around even finding materials or anything. You have to avoid these monkeys and dogs. And you have a bunch of coconuts they, they throw at you. And you have just a bunch of random obstacles. I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I, other than avoiding the obstacles. Because I don't know where this leads to. I guess if I played the game long enough, I'd figure it out. But it just doesn't follow the story, I don't think. Now here I found Mary. I think Mary Ann, and some, and I guess who else did I find? Whoever that guy is, I don't know. <laughs> Mary, I don't. Okay, so the bungalow is with you, Skipper. Yeah, it's probably better that I can't find him. Yeah, that's probably true. He's right about that. But still, though, I don't understand that they didn't give me. They didn't give me any, you know, any information as to what I'm supposed to be doing or any hints or anything like that. You think they could have at least done that? We're all in this together, right? We're all stuck on this stupid island together. You could have at least given me some sort of hints, but no, they're they're no hope at all. So and here we go back to those stinking coconuts again. Um, as far as I can tell, no no bosses, no no real enemies. I mean, yeah, you have obstacles. You have to be like that dog there, but you know, a couple of snakes. That was, this is actually cool. The snakes I found that particularly cool about this game. You have to actually avoid the snakes. <laughs> Again, though, I, I don't know what else to say. It's just... Yeah, yeah, I don't... I, you think right when you get on the island, you immediately try to fix the hole in the ship, first of all. That's my biggest flaw with, really, the, the whole show, is that you want to try to fix the ship rather than making, like, a television out of bamboo and transmitters out of bamboo and stuff like that. Um... So I never understood that. My biggest flaw with the game is that they don't t they tell you to do something. They tell you to build a hut, and that's okay, but at least tell me how to build it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. And I it was the same I've had the same problem with a lot of these any a lot of old NES games often are the same. They they don't tell you how to do something. They tell you what to do, but then they don't tell you how to go about doing it. And I guess that that's one of my big bigger complaints with some of the old NES games. That were based off TV shows and movies and stuff like that. They don't tell you how to do it. So, needless to say, I'm left fend fending for myself here. And Gilligan is no help at all, by the way. As you probably figured. My own partner can't even... My own partner is like a frightened bird. He, he's, he walks right behind me, and then I lose him, and then I gotta go find him again. So, it's just... It, it's not fun. It's I would like it to be fun, because I thought the show was actually kind of funny. But... I just can't, I can't find anything really uh, particularly fun about this game. Um, eh, I don't know. Decent attempt, I guess. I'm going to give it a one and a half out of five stars. I guess, I don't know. I guess the thought, it's the thought that counts if, if that's what this comes down to. 
Um, so, like, I don't know, maybe at the time it was somewhat exciting for him to run down rivers and be attacked by coconuts and stuff like that. Or tripping over coconuts and being attacked by birds. So I'm going to give it a one and a half out of five stars. Um, that's my official review here. Uh, you guys let me know if you get any further than this. I'd be glad to. This is my first time playing the game, by the way, too. So I'm sure I'd get a little bit further if I played it more. But, uh, so that, that's all. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.